you've ever seen. It centers around the hilarious and horrific exploits of the Manson family and apparently Green Day as well. Uh, take a look, you'll see. Just cut them up like ribbons and be done with it. No one likes a show off. Be nice to them and let their spirit live in peace to infinity. Uh, Charlie, they're right over there and they can hear every word you said. Just do it! And don't forget to do something witchy! John, welcome to the show. Hey, thank you. Thanks Kevin. for coming on, man. I know you've been busy with your bedazzler, but I uh, got yes, something. I have. It's a little blinding, oh, so I got a little shirt there. The pro it's not metrosexual enough. No, do you want to put it on John, right now? I'm sorry. Uh, I can't. It you would know, ruin you, my makeup. <laughs> it's weird. You never took your shirt off in the show. Huh? No. You know, no, there's reason for it. Pants, not, not a problem, but the ladies have to pay a little extra for the torso. No, I got you. It's, the, it's all I have to work with, you know? Uh, I want to talk about the movie real quick. Yes, sir. Live Freaky, Die Freaky. You got uh, you got the Green Day, the Blink-182, Good Charlotte. They're all doing voices. They are. Uh, now, what about, like, you know, Billy Joe made you think, okay, he's perfect for Manson. Oh, why? Everyone, cause everyone said, no, he wouldn't be. Because he's the nicest guy in the whole world. Really? But when I see... See, that's not punk rock. Well, he's a nice guy. He's okay. a nice guy. But when I saw him, you know, every time he's on... on, on uh, He's doing his little shows. Man, that kid can whip up those kids to attack the White House at any given time. Sure. And I said, he's my Charlie. You Perfect. know? And so he went down uh, to Oakland, and he did it in one take, everything. He never even heard what Charles Manson's voice even sounded like. Sure. That's why it's a little Al Sharpton looking. Hey, like. did, in the grand scheme of the movie, I don't think that's going to make or break it. With uh, I don't know. Those <laughs> kids, they, they need perfection. Uh, now, did they do any music uh, yes. in the film as well? Yeah, he sings the songs, and we have Tim Armstrong from Rancid, wrote some songs, and Roddy Bottom, and... Jane Whelan from the Go Go's. Nice. It's all a, it's a musical. It's murder music and mayhem. Now why now why is stop motion musical about about Manson? Like is he is he socially relevant today still to the kids or? Yeah, I mean I hope so because it's it's going to happen again. The whole thing about it is is that this person goes and and uh, took cheerleaders, you know, with the girls next door and, and made them into these these killers. And you know it's just like the whole film is about thinking for yourself. Okay. And it's a little warning, you know, don't follow everyone. Gotcha. Just follow the prompter. Exactly. Just re read what they write for you. Exactly. It. Now, see, but if you wanted no like, dianetics. if you wanted like crazy cult or, or religion, we could have gone Scientology. That's that seems like it's a little more. Uh, I value my home too much <laughs> right. and my family. <laughs> I gotcha. You know, I mean, I can kick Tom Cruise's ass, you know, but the aliens behind him, right. I, I can't. And know? the lawyers as well. Oh gotta yeah. Watch out for those yeah, guys. Yeah, gotta watch out. Now, what, now the movie, with all due respect, a little on the twisted side. You think? Yeah, it's a little out there. Like, were you, did your parents ever test you as a kid? Like, cause it's it's out there. Yeah. Were, 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 you, were you concerned that it might be a little too off-putting? I mean, some of this stuff, I'm surprised you even got puppets to do it. You know? I know, it's crazy. They, they kind of looked at me and go, huh? You know, <laughs> going, they're little penises, you know, with this kind of flicker. <laughs> it's just clay. They're just puppets. You know, I don't know what the problem is. Did it's, you have to go with puppets because some of the stuff we couldn't get actors to, to do? Or? Are you kidding? Yeah, Billy Joe, can you do that for me? No, really? <laughs> Suck my own... Yeah. Okay, yeah. I see that? I'm sorry. Um, anyways. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. No, um, and that's why it's banned everywhere. Oh, you know, man. I can't find it because I thought when I was doing this movie, uh, it turned into the 1950s when I got of the uh, studio. It was all black and white and everything, and there was Beaver Cleaver and all that, and George Bush. Hey, cool. Yeah. What happened to our rights? See, I thought this was perfect for the Walmart blockbuster crowd. Passion of the Christ, am I right? Same movie. My movie is this, and that movie's <laughs> there. It's a, it's a yin and a yang. Uh, what's, I mean, the, the, the movie is, it's not, it's not, it's about Manson, but it's, it's it kind of about him being discovered in another universe, or later on in, in, the, in the history of time. Yeah, I mean, there's a book, Helter Skelter, which is about the Manson killings, and someone finds it in the future, and there's no Bible or anything, and so they find it, and he misinterprets Helter Skelter as the, the new Bible, sure, like they did with the Bible itself. Well, we just we just did a story on uh, uh, the, the Oscars, and they were saying, you know, these movies aren't going to be fifty bazillion dollars in the near future. Your movie broke the mold. This is a twenty-five million dollar puppet right here. This there is where he the is. budget goes. This is Charlie, right? Yes, Charles. Now, is this an actual prop from the movie? Did it's you the only one we had. <laughs> it's the only puppet we had. I was watching like these these documentaries on Nightmare Before Christmas with Tim Burton. You know, you right. just fly in from San Francisco and like look at all the millions of puppets he had, and I'm like. Okay, here yeah. it is. We've got one. There better not be any burning scenes or. There, yeah. Um, you can see his hand even fell off. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> his, his, it's not in the it. pocket. There really is no hand, folks. <laughs> but at the end of the filming, they would just like complete break and fall apart and everything. I love it. This isn't the only thing you're working on now. There was a, you know, Green Days in the film as well. I know you're, you're buddies yep. with them. You're working uh, on a documentary with them, right? Yeah. It's. I was doing Night Before, the night before Christmas, I wish. I was doing Live Freaky, Die Freaky. They're easily the confused. I know, they are the I know. same thing. Trailers, one and the same. And Wallace and Gromit. Yes. And I swear to God, I did not burn down the studio. <laughs> I swear to God. And it was, um, now they, I was doing Live Freaky during the daytime. At nighttime, I'd go and record the boys doing American Idiot. 
So this so, is this is the whole making of the album. This was them going through 300 it. Three hundred hours of film. Wow. And just me, wow. my big old head. So you're going to release it in episodes? Or you're going to cut it down no, no, to like an hour it's, and a half? It's down to <laughs> yeah, it's down to uh, uh, two hundred ninety nine hours. Awesome. It and was hard are, to cut. When are you going to write your manifesto? Charlie um, has his. You, you did a good job documenting. I have a blog. It. When's yours going? Oh yeah. I have a blog. You're on the the blogging? Yeah. Do you uh, do you post pictures of the the cheerleaders and the friends and the drunken virgins? I don't. Or is it more I, I tell them about how I got attacked by the Scientology actor. You got attacked by a Scientology. I was wearing this T-shirt. That well, that that no, looks no, pretty nice. No, no, that's underneath this one. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I'd love to show it to you. Can we, can we show the shirt? Can we? Let's. What's the shirt? Okay. Let's see, let's do it quickly. If you, if you lift your shirt up at the same time, uh, I got uh, I got a shirt under it, so I'm just as safe. Ready? Here we Ooh, go. He's wearing Hanes. My message is safe for folks. Can here you we see go. That? Oh no! Wait. Yeah. Here we go. Gotcha. <laughs> Scientology kills. Yes. And and they're beating down the door now. Thanks for that, John. Very nice of you. Thanks for coming on and sharing hey, thank your film, you so man, much. and for sharing the shirt. Thank you. Love your show. It. Thank oh. you very much. It just popped out, man. It happens. <laughs> it happens at the end of every show. Hey, if you want more Manson family fun, but you're afraid to visit Charles in prison, play it safe, pick up Live Freaky, Die Freaky on DVD instead. And for more, you can visit uh, John's site, livefreakydiefreaky.com. Coming up after the break, everyone, PS2's on a Mushadon of Dreams.